days into 2020, World War III was trending, so we really set this year off on the right path from the start. Soon after, God decided marsupials were cancelled. But it's okay though, the animal kingdom is thriving. Parasite swept the Oscars this year, another unfortunate coincidence. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's been this super deadly virus that has been going around the world sending countries into lockdowns, or as I like to call them, Sunday afternoons. They never end, I have to spend them with family, and I still have to go back to work tomorrow? Come on. Woody from Toy Story and the leader of the most powerful nation in the world actually got the It's pretty shocking. So we wished Woody a speedy recovery. It was rumored that Kim Jong-un died, prompting a wave of Kim Yo-jong waifu art. Then, a gender reveal party set California on fire. It's a boy! And in response, people put up a countdown to when the McRib would be back. Let's talk about pop culture. Sonic was the only movie that came out this year, Watermelon Sugar and WAP were the only two songs people listened to, and the most popular app was a foreign data harvesting farm for teens who can kind of dance. We followed the story of the most random word generator person to ever live, and his rivalry with someone who definitely murdered her husband, right? Like, she definitely did it. There's no way she didn't. There was this guy that started making YouTube videos that are honestly average at best. And Elon Musk is gonna name his child... Hold on. X Ash A12 Musk. Huh. In the world of video games, virgins argued over which $500 piece of hardware was better. Animal Crossing was the savior of our mental health, although Nintendo's looking kinda sus for delaying it till March. Speaking of sus, Space Mafia with Chores has become the most popular game of the year, narrowly beating out the second most popular game of the year, Jessica Playing With My Heart. Jessica, why did you leave me? <laughs> While the legacy media embarrassed themselves, the most reputable news source was the Jim Halpert spin-off series, exclusively on Peacock. Let's check in with how the rest of the world is doing. Oh, never mind. Can we, can we cut that? Can we cut that? On the home front, we had the craziest election for ASB class president ever. It was Yeezus versus Obama Jr. versus the guy that literally got impeached earlier this year. But then, before all hope was lost, the <laughs> was approved, signaling a potential return to normalcy next year. <sighs> but then, in a twist of fate, it is revealed that the vaccine was actually a government mind control device, only to be hacked by Kim Yo Jong, a liaison for the aliens brought to Earth by the Utah Obelisk, to use the humans as a part of the alien army at the behest of the alien leader, X Ash A12. <laughs> 